Hey guys, what's up? It's Robin. Uh, I just got this game from GameStop. Uh, I'll show you guys in a second. I kind of want to leave it off as like a surprise, but um, you know, everyone knows that Mad Max and uh, Champagne came out today, and uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get both games. But I'll show you guys uh, what game I chose. So uh, see you guys in a minute. Yes, I chose the Metal Gear Solid 5 Fan Pain. Uh, I really wanted to get it because I enjoyed um, enjoyed uh, enjoyed Metal Gear Solid 5 uh, Ground Zero. There's no Ground Zero, so I'm getting this the uh, next installment in the series. Um, fortunately, I didn't get to play the past games, but I read up on the backstory of the other games, so I didn't end up playing the other games. Maybe in the future I will, but uh, for now I'm gonna play Fan Pain. Well, let's do unboxing of it. Um, I actually, oh man, I forgot my uh, forgot my keys, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, I forgot my keys, guys. But I ended up um opening up a little bit. Uh, just you know, it'll be easier to open up if uh, instead of just using one hand, I'm, uh, holding my keychain. But um, yeah, so I'd open up a little bit. I mean, if I open it completely, that, that kind of defeats the purpose of a unboxing video. This is more of like an unwrapping video. I should probably say unwrapping video instead of an unboxing video. That's what probably why I should title it. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what's inside. Can't wait to play this game for sure. I'm probably gonna live stream it. Yeah, I probably should just unwrap this completely, but whatever. There. All right, there we go. Here's the. Here's the uh, should we show the front first? Get a better view of it. For the day one edition. Uh, I, ac I actually didn't uh, pre-order this game. Ended up getting it on the uh, first day. I didn't get the pre-order, unfortunately. Uh, it just says ERSB and all that stupid rating stuff. Uh, it's a Dio Kojima game. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I can't wait to play the game. Here's the back side. This is all for revenge nine years after the fall of Mother Base. Legendary hero Snake wake, wakes from a, from a coma. Uh, together with Ocelot and Melly, he must rebuild Mother Base and establish a new Armed force, diamond dogs. Other than only then he will have his revenge on Cipher. The Phantom Pain brings a a explosive um come on focus. I hate this camera. Uh conclusion to the Metal Gear Solid 5 experience. Pretty cool. It shows the additional uh stuff you get on day one. Which is nice. Um Surprisingly, this game is multiplayer, so that's good. 27 gigs, it's kind of a shock. That's 27 gigs, I mean, it's kind of shocking, really, because um, the uh, other games I've seen, like, 50 to 60 gigabytes, and this is an open-world game, so I'm kind of shocked it to be 27 gigabytes, but that's pretty cool. Um, it's actually multiplayer, which is actually a first. Like, there's never been... I don't think there's ever been multiplayer on, uh, on any Metal Gear Solid game, so that's that's pretty nice. Should see that. Uh, yes, I think this is right there, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, let's open it up. Alrighty, so we've got the game itself. I'm gonna tilt the camera this way, just in case there's any codes. No offense, but I want the codes. Okay, there is one. There's the code, I'm not going to show the back though. And what's this about? Uh, it's probably like turns and conditions and stuff like that. Like war yeah, I guess it's like a warranty on the game. Uh, it's pretty cool. And there's the uh, poster you get, which is, which is nice. I mean, I'm kind of sick of map posters, but... Um, you know, I can uh, deal with it. Poster's a poster. So uh, let's open this up. 
try to record and also open stuff at the same time, so uh, bear with me here. Actually, I'll just edit this out and I'll, I'll get back to you guys uh, in a bit. Alright guys, here's the uh, the horizontal view of the map. Uh, it just shows different areas in the game. I mean, I still haven't played the game, so I'm not sure where these areas are really located. I mean, it says on the map, but obviously I haven't been to these places yet because I haven't installed the game yet. But, um, yeah, it shows uh, a place called um, Fenda Oil Field. I'm field, I probably pronounced that wrong. Yeah, different places in the uh in the game it's pretty cool yeah that's the uh that's a horizontal view of the map and uh here's the i'm not even gonna edit this out i'm just gonna do it in raw footage here's the vertical view of uh the map of the map. I'm probably gonna uh, put out my wall like this because I don't really have a lot of wall space, so I'll probably uh, do like that. Um, yeah, these uh, yeah, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five uh, fan paint is based in uh, Africa and um, it's Africa and I forget what other place. I think it's Africa and um, Afghanistan. Yeah, well, it says right there, duh. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, it's just different camps and yada yada yada. Uh, I guess this is Afghanistan, unless that was Africa, so that's cool, I guess. So, yeah. Nothing too special, just a, a map. Like most game, most games come with maps. If they don't come with maps, they don't come with posters at all. But I'm still, it's still cool to get a map. I'm, I just prefer, like, you know, a, like an actual, like. I don't know. I prefer a, person, uh, a, a post, a poster of the main character on our other characters instead of just like a map. But, you know, that's just me, I guess. So I'll mess with that later. I think that is it, guys. I think that's uh, everything you get of the game. You obviously get the disc you know, itself, which is the, definitely the most uh, most important part of uh, getting the game. It's pretty cool. You know, uh, I should say Hideo Kojima, it's the Konami, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. So, uh, yeah. Can't wait to pop this game in, gonna download it, and uh, it should be fun. So, uh, yeah, thanks guys for, uh, for watching my, I guess I'm gonna call it a wrapping video of uh, Metal, Gear, Metal Gear Solid 5 fan pain. Uh, you know, let me know if you guys enjoyed the game, if you picked it up. Um, uh, I definitely can't wait to play the, uh, the story. I, I may check out the multiplayer as well, which I'm probably going to, but, um, you know, obviously ma mainly people got, most people got the game for their, uh, for the story mode, so, uh, yeah, just let me know how you guys enjoyed the game, and, um, and give me, give me some feedback, because I'll definitely like to, uh, hear some feedback from you guys. Um, but yeah, just, you know, thanks for watching, and, uh, there'll be more future content. Coming up, probably some more Metal Gear Solid 5 fan pain gameplay, and and yeah, have a uh, good day or good night wherever you guys are. Uh, have a good one.